Welcome back to the channel, y'all. This is the number one place for everything you want to know about how to live, work, and play all along Galveston Bay. We're going to visit some of the coolest destinations and show you some really laid back lifestyle choices so you can learn to live like you're on vacation every day. Today, we've got something really special lined up for you. This community, if you've seen any of my videos, is one of my favorites, Tiki Island. So today, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living on Tiki Island, Texas. But before we dive into the juicy details, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell. You don't wanna miss any of our great content updates. Y'all, we're on the road to 1 million subscribers and I would love to have you along for the journey. All right, let's get right to it. Why would anybody really consider living on Tiki Island, Texas? Well, let me tell you, it's like a hidden gem in the Lone Star State. It is a small, exclusive, luxury, waterfront golf cart community located right on the Gulf Coast on West Galveston Bay. It's got some amazing perks. But of course, every paradise has its quirks, so let's jump into the pros and the cons. First up, I want to talk about the pros of living on Tiki Island, Texas. Living on an island, even a small one like Tiki Island, is a dream for many of us. The serenity and escape from the mainland are a major plus. Most of the homes here have waterfront views and boat docks, making it perfect for water lovers on jet skis, kayaks, fishing boats, pontoon boats with sunset watchers, birders, and fisher people. They all appreciate beautiful Tiki Island. Houses on the island sell for about $6.50 and up. Houses that front Galveston Bay are going to be a little more expensive than the inner water lots because you're going to get that beautiful view. Tiki Island is a close-knit community. You're going to know your neighbors and they may even feel like family. The sense of community here is strong. There's something about living on the water that brings out the very best in people. Water-based activities like fishing, kayaking, jet skiing, boating, right outside your doorstep. Tiki Island is such a fun place to live. Tiki Island has its own city government, police, and fire department. A beautiful church in the community, the Tiki Island Chapel, offers amazing views of the bay and opportunity for fellowship with your neighbors. I love living here on the water. People just like you and me live here. Tiki Island has a garden club, social clubs, golf cart poker runs, boat parades, concerts, and food trucks. One of my favorite events is their Tiki Island Market. Now, this is an open air market with local artists like Daniel Leggett and Melody's Muse. They've got a city park, tennis courts, and did I mention those amazing sunrises and sunsets? You're just a stone's throw away from the beach, so get ready for those sandy toes and salty hair days. But if you aren't ready to get sandy, but you want to explore, being just minutes from Galveston, you'll have the opportunity to see live music, fine and casual dining, architecture, amazing history, cruise ships, galleries, outdoor entertainment like the Pleasure Pier, Moody Gardens, Schlitterbahn, galleries, and oh, the shopping. Tiki Island's only about 45 or 50 minutes from downtown Houston, so if you want to go into town for a concert or a play or dinner or a doctor's visit, Houston really isn't that far away. If you need to have access to Houston Hobby or Intercontinental, I-45 offers easy access to both airports. You can also utilize Beltway 8 and skip around some of the traffic that we moved away from. UTMB in Galveston offers first-class medical services and is less than a 10-minute car ride over the causeway and down Harborside Drive. Now, we've got to dive into the cons of Tiki Island living, too. Being on the Gulf Coast, Tiki Island is susceptible to hurricanes. You need to be prepared for the occasional storm. While there are some great restaurants nearby in Galveston and onward up to Clear Lake, you're probably going to have to go on to the mainland or over to Galveston for shopping, health care, and many other services. Living in a waterfront property comes with a premium in a couple of ways. Living in paradise can be pricey. Everything rusts down here. I'm telling you everything. The salt water and the salt air is hard on every surface. 
Living on the coast really comes with that insurance premium too. It's important to know that you should carry flood and wind insurance when you live on the coast. You also want to make sure that the home you're buying currently has flood coverage. If not, your flood insurance may be higher because of the seller's shortcomings. If you need a Gulf Coast insurance specialist, reach out to me for a referral. The flood and wind coverage may be a bit of a sticker shock if you've never lived on the water before. During the tourist season from about April to September, things can get a bit crowded and noisy on 45 going into Galveston and onto the island. Now, I personally don't mind seeing the island full of tourists. It's good for Galveston. It's good for our tax base. It's good for all the people who own businesses on Galveston Bay and for those that are employed on Galveston Bay. So be kind to your wait staff and tip them well. Galveston has so much to do, it's no wonder people want to come and explore this beautiful gem on the Gulf Coast. Now, Tiki Island is a beautiful community. As I've mentioned, it's one of my favorites, but there is one slight eyesore, and it's really not that big of a deal, actually, because you see, they've come up with a way to fix it. You'll see these propane gas tanks in yards. And recently I've noticed that homeowners have gotten creative and they have hired a professional named Melody's Muse to paint their propane gas tank to look like they belong in the garden. Okay, now that we've covered the pros and cons, it's time to consider the big question. Is living on Tiki Island the right lifestyle choice for you? It all really comes down to your preferences and priorities. If you're someone who values peace, and serenity and a strong sense of community, easy access to the bay or offshore fishing, easy access to Houston, Tiki Island just may be a dream come true. But if you can't live without the hustle and bustle of the big city lights and you need a lot of noise and crowded streets and concrete and a wide range of amenities right at your fingertips, this island life may not be the best fit for you. And there you have it, my friends, my take on the pros and cons of living on Tiki Island, Texas. It really is a unique and beautifully luxurious lifestyle, but it's really not without its challenges. Y'all truly no place is perfect. So before you pack up and head to paradise, weigh in these pros and cons carefully and make sure it aligns with your dream lifestyle. If you found this video helpful and enjoyable, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. My team and I are trying to double our subscriber numbers all the way up to 1 million and your support would really mean the world to us. We work diligently to keep bringing you amazing content just like this. Thanks so much again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.